Hello everyone and welcome to our discussion today. Uh, today I felt it was uh, important to talk about Eid al-Azha. It is a special occasion for our Muslim world and in Pakistan especially we celebrate it with a lot of vigor and excitement. But there are some things that I uh, notice every year and I felt like I should bring it up in our podcast today because it bothers me a lot. Uh, you see, the thing is, yes, Islamically we have uh, the requirement to have a sacrifice and we have to keep the animal at home. Uh, the closer the bond uh, you have with the animal, uh, the better it is. But you see, we have to keep a lot of things in mind. Uh, a few hundreds of years ago, uh, people were cattle rearers. Okay, You would have animals in your house, you would feed them, bathe them. It's inevitable to develop uh, a connection and emotional attachment to those animals and of course in Islam uh, the more uh, you have a bond with that animal the more value it offers you the closeness you have with it the more it is the better the sacrifice is you know but uh, I feel like our community in Pakistan has misunderstood this to some level because we see children uh, taking the animal out every night making them run across the streets it becomes a jogging or a, a competition with other neighbors uh, you know cows and sheep and goat and it i i feel at the end of the day it exhausts those animals like it's an it's an indirectly it's animal abuse in my opinion it bothers me a lot so like when you do uh, of course and you have to teach your children the right thing to do so try to keep an eye on them make sure that they don't go above and beyond in their zeal because you have to understand that that animal is precious you can't start maltreating it or exhausting it even if it's affection even if it's out of love and care keep an eye on your kids don't let them overdo it you know okay and uh, just for uh, the sake of those people who might not know what Eid al-Azha is and what we are talking about today Eid al-Azha is an Islamic uh, festivity it's a, an Islamic uh, celebration it commemorates uh, the memory of our Islamic, uh, you know, history, in which uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim, uh, was asked by uh, God Almighty to make a sacrifice of his son Ismail, and uh, the reason for that was because it was a test. Allah was testing his prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam about his dedication and his love for Allah and to what length would he go to please Allah and, and if Allah has ordained it will Ibrahim alayhi salam do it or not and subhanallah he fulfilled his uh, test he passed his test and it was a miracle because then it, just in the nick of time angel Jibreel appeared and told him to stop so the sacrifice didn't happen but at the end of that uh, story at the end of this uh, incident what we learn is that Allah wants us to sacrifice an animal as an action of gratitude for his blessings to us and our willingness, our zeal to give the best we have for Allah, give it up for Allah. Uh, comparing uh, our animals and giving them the affection like a son or a daughter, we, we can't just, you know, we can't take it to that level. They are our pets. We should try to love them, give them affection, give them the respect a day before they are, they are going to be sacrificed and all. And that is why we must also keep it in check. We must not overdo it. And uh, just for the sake of uh, the discussion in this podcast, I would also like to add that uh, as parents, I feel it's our moral duty to educate our children about pet abuse or about animal abuse how to what limit is everything okay you know an older person sitting on a smaller goat trying to push it around try to ride it forcing it beating it t or trying to tie an, a knot around its neck and pulling it across here and there it's not really something we should you know let our youth do it's brutality it's animal brutality and there's a very thin line between care and brutality because that's what i feel like you know even in, on the streets or even in people's house when people visit our houses they hold our pets, especially cats or dogs, and they try to squeeze the life out of them. You know, it's, I feel we need to teach our children when it is beyond okay, you know. So when it comes to our animals for evil azha, please show some care and concern. 
be affectionate but do not push it so far that it becomes animal abuse i hope uh, you uh, would keep this podcast in mind and i hope you would have a wonderful eid al adha and remember to subscribe and share so that we can get more listeners on our channel thank you so much <laughs>